phrases like 76 trombones and you gotta know the territory. If those ring a bell with you, you've probably seen the classic musical, The Music Man. And Circle Theater is presenting this all-time favorite. We've got two of the actors from the show with us this morning, Matty Owen, Mike Dodge. Hey, Matty. Hi, Mike. How are you? I am doing, doing well. well. Thank you. Thanks for being here. All right, so let's start with The Music Man. We're talking a class. This, this thing's been around a while, Matty. Okay? <laughs> music Man's been around for, for decades. So does the message of The Music Man still resonate today? Yes, I believe it does. Um, so Harold Hill comes in to River City, Iowa, and he is at the beginning just trying to run his con in order to make money, but in the process of doing that, he ends up changing these people's lives for the better in so many different ways. Mm -hmm. um, and it really, it shows how one person can affect a community, it can show how that, communi uh, that community can welcome in a new person, um, and I think that it is all uh, very, it's the, uh, it means the same thing today as yeah, it did back then as sure. well. Sure. I mean, it really is kind of uh, the effect of the community has on him. Mm -hmm. yeah, he kind of changes his ways, right? He's a grifter. He's a con man. He's coming to get into this town just to make some money, but he ends up uh, finding his soul, maybe. Maybe, sure. maybe he finds a little bit of good in him. What roles are you guys playing, man? What are you playing? I'm Mary and the Librarian. Oh, you are Mary and the Librarian. This is a huge role. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is huge. And what about you? Playing the mayor. Oh, you get to be mayor the mayor. Shin, yes. Yeah. I represent the establishment. I represent <laughs> the part of the town that does not want to change. Right. And is very resistant to his tactics and to his ability to open up the town to new possibilities. Are we trying anything new with this, guys? I mean, like I said, this, this musical's been around for decades and decades. Is there anything unique about this performance or production that we're doing? Um, well, we have cast a couple of people uh, in more non-traditional casting. I mean, I'm sure that people have seen in some of the promotional photos that both uh, Harold Hill and Tommy are played by black men, and uh, I am a trans woman myself, out and proud, um, and I never thought that I would get the opportunity to play a role like Marion, but um, we are all uh, trying yeah, new things. Yeah, I, I love production. that. Yeah, it's a very yeah. inclusive show. Yeah. Right. yeah, that's what that is. But it also... <clears throat> brings home some of the messages that are already in the show just in some of the portraits that are created on stage mm -hmm. and you see some reactions and interactions and relationships that we don't have to hit people over the head with them but it brings the show up to date yeah I don't want to uh, spoil anything, but there are some <laughs> updated musical choices that our music directors have made. Yeah. Okay. Some stylistic choices um, in order to both update and expand the musical vernacular because it's a more old fashioned, it is. beautiful, beautiful sure, score. Sure, sure. It features barbershop music, it features uh, classical orchestra, like sweeping musical scores, um, but they are adding a couple of new and more recent genres as musical uh, arrangements okay. of these pieces. I'm going to I'm going to press you a little on that cuz now I'm really intrigued. I mean it's not a, a total uh, spoiler. You alert. could see Are we talking a hip? Are we talking like a Hamilton look at this? Where we there's some rock, there's some reggae, uh, there's some gospel. Um, I think in the music man. Yes, just yeah. uh, music. Well, the way that the band is interpreting the score. Sure. Uh, tempos are changing, some rhythms are changing. Um, yeah, it's it's definitely not going to be exactly what you've heard. Before. I'm trying to I'm trying to envision the Wells Fargo wagon in reggae right now. I'm trying, <laughs> trying, to, trying to figure that mm -hmm. out. That was I thought maybe we should try to suggest that to our music director. <laughs> to music. So that yeah. is definitely um, something. Well, after all of this, we obviously have very talented actors and we have a very phenomenally well acclaimed show. Let's get people the tickets. When and where are we doing this? Sure. So we open on Thursday this week, uh, January. Uh, January, July. Thank goodness. Fourteenth. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and then we run through July thirtieth, which is the, uh, at the end of the month. Perfect. Yep. Um, middle weekend, the the twentieth through the twenty fourth. Uh, then the 27th through the 30th. The Sunday performance is a matinee. Yeah, it's right there on your screen. And tickets 26 okay. to $30, right? I mean, mm -hmm. Look at that. We got all the info right there waiting for you. Plus, circletheater.org if you want to get your tickets today or 616 456 6656. Maddie, Mike, thanks for the time. Thank you so much. Thank Absolutely you. Absolutely appreciate it. And break a leg. <laughs> and we'll be right back.